Okay. Okay. I've just been sitting here for like the last 10 minutes just staring at my wall. Why? Because, well, <laughs> if you watched the live stream this morning, for reference, I'm recording this at 10.15 a.m. on Thursday, July 23rd, right after the Maxwell Conference, and I'm just disappointed. Not at the conference itself. I thought the conference was cool. Uh, there was nothing that really stood out to me that made me be all like, I want an Xbox, especially due to the fact that every single game that was shown off was also available on the PC. So it's not really even like an Xbox thing anymore. Now it's Xbox and PC. So if you have a PC, why you get an Xbox? But that's a whole other conversation. That's not the point of this video. The main reason why I was disappointed is because Microsoft is usually the go-to company that reveals the next big anime game every single year. You know, they reveal Dragon Ball Fighters, they reveal <laughs> Jump Force, which is not exactly everyone's favorite game, but the point is they reveal the anime games. I don't know why. They paid the exclusive, I guess, and Bandai was like, sure, if you want to say it first, here you go, pay up. Point is, I expected them to reveal something. E3 is gone. You know, we got everything going on. E3 got canceled, and I feel like E3 has been on his way out anyways. If they're going to reveal anything, it would have been right now. And then it didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what's going to happen. So, I guess to give you a reference, the next big thing where we could potentially even see what's going to happen next as far as the anime gaming world will probably be Odyssey Jump Festa, which is in December. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at the, the way uh, the trend has been going for the last uh, couple months, you know... They got the Nintendo Direct, which has been going on for years. Nintendo's been a header. They've been a header of the game for a long time. They said, E3, nah, we got our own thing. Uh, Sony started doing the state of play. And then I, Xbox, Microsoft, I believe they're doing something as well. I mean, this basically was that. So that's kind of like the, the, the world we live in anymore. E3 is gone, which used to be the thing that they announce every game, every single year. But now it's just pff, gone. So the next big thing, I guess, will be it, probably Jump Festa. Jump Festa is in December, and we're probably not going to know what the big, ne next big anime title is going to be until then, which is a long ways away. So how about this? Comment section below, let me ask you guys a question. And I feel like it's about to be a war zone of comments because people, everybody wants one thing. I mean, the beauty of Dragon Ball games and the anime world in general for games is we have such a large, um, large horizon of games for our beloved franchises that we don't really know what we want that's why like when you ask somebody if you, if you bring a group of people into a room and you ask them what their favorite dragon ball game is i guarantee you they will all have a different answer which, which i think the thing is great i think it's actually really dope you know you got the infinite worlds of the world you got the budokai the take the fighters the xenoverses i think that's dope you know the fact that dragon ball has so many decent games that everybody considers their favorite i think is a beautiful thing so in the comment section below what do you want to see next in the drama gaming world let me know down below for me i mean so look i i am i'm just i'm in a weird sta state i would absolutely love love xenoverse 3. the problem is is i don't want xenoverse 3 if it's going to be the same mess that we had in the last uh the last couple of years because xenoverse 2 is still going on which is crazy you know xenoverse 2 i think is a, is a fantastic game it's one of the best Dragon Ball games but man, when you get online and you have to deal with like stuff like the netcode, it's awful. You know, I always said that if they ever were to take Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 or the Dragon Ball Xenoverse series in general, and you really like flesh out the netcode, it will be easily one of the best Dragon Ball games just because of how fun it is. It's, it's not one of those games that you have to like learn, like really like, like crank all the gears in your brain cells to figure out. It's fun. Like it's very easy to pick up and you can learn a lot of cool things in it. I think it's a great game. It just was always held back by the awful netcode. So that's why I'm always like, Xenos 3, I'm all for it. But the problem is, what do you do? Number one, they already re like released pretty much every character that exists in the game. What are you going to do? Xenos 3 with, with Garlic Jr.? No. The correct answer is, you really flesh out everything that's wrong with the game but i think that's gonna happen in my opinion i think the next big dragon ball game and i've said this many many times before in the past couple of uh, months is going to be a brand new entry to the franchise which i think is great i mean of course you got the risks as well the problem being if it ends up being a really, really bad game then we're dealing with that game for maybe potentially the next couple years so like remember battle z i'm so happy battle z only lasted like what, like what eight months six months as far as like how long we have to play it because we, we got battle z and they immediately announced the universe <laughs> which is great it's funny also looking back, Xenoverse 1 is such a bad game, but man, going from Battle of Z to Xenoverse was like night and day. And it's funny, to those who played Xenoverse 2, I challenge you guys to go back and play Xenoverse 1 to see how much the game actually improved. Obviously, Xenoverse 2 was not perfect, uh, but when you compare it to Xenoverse 1, it's like, it's like, I, one is one is Charizard and the other one is Weedle. I'll let you figure out which is which, uh, to those who get the Pokemon reference. So yeah, I honestly prefer the next big Dragon Ball game to be uh, something brand new, just because like, I feel like this is their chance to really like uh, utilize the power of the PS5, the Xbox Series X, and the PC as well, which they've already been you know doing. But they mostly focus on the consoles as well, and then they ported the PC. I think they should really focus on the power that the PS5 and Xbox One Series Xbox Series X can actually do and really deliver a game. If it takes an extra two years, go for it, man. Ban your name key. Go for it. 
I mean, picture this. Fighters, hands down, is one of the most beautiful looking drama games of all time. Imagine if they can take the quality of how that game looks and give us an arena fighter like that. I think that'd be fantastic. That'd be great. I don't think the PS4 and the Xbox One right now will be able to handle something like that because of how powerful uh, of a console we have to need. Obviously, the PC can run it, but like I said, they, they, they produce their games on consoles and then they port it to PC. That's why it works the way it works. But if they were to make something that looks as crazy as Fighters and they give us like a Xenoverse 3 or the next Arena Fighter that looks like that, bruh. <laughs> and even that, like they have data now of how, how, how uh, good and how much... Uh, how much reach fires have had so i feel like they can even like really take a risk and kind of like mix mix the casual and the hardcore levels of, of of those of the next game like you know the thing with fires right now is i feel like a lot of people would agree you either you either like fires or you hate it the people that hate fighters they're not really into fighting games because the thing about fighters is fighters was a fighting game first with a dragon ball skin whereas stuff like xenoverse was a dragon ball game with no fighting skin to it really because like the thing about xenoverse is, is again it's a casual game that anybody could pick up you can learn it Pretty well, you can get pretty decent at it, but it's like, when you compare Fighters to Xenoverse, Fighters was a fighting game. Fighters was a fighting game with a Dragon Ball skin over it, and I feel like that kind of turned people off from it. Because like, you you pick it up, and it's like, I don't want to spend like days and hours and weeks to learn one character. I want to be able to pick up a game and just hop in right away. That's what that's why casual games exist. That's why Jump Force sells the numbers it sells. That's why stuff like My Hero 1 Justice works. That's why games like Naruto Stone work so well, because they're so easy to pick up. But imagine... Imagine we finally get to the point where they can take something like the next Dragon Ball game, mix it to the, uh, the 3D Arena Fighter aspect of it, but also toss in, sprinkle a little, little bit of fighters into it, and really like build off something crazy. I think we're there. We're finally there to that point where something like that can happen. It just, again, it might take some time, in which case, if it takes us like two, extra two, an extra three years, I'm all for it. Go for it, Ben and Namki. Do what you need to do. You know, I play, I'm down to play Fires for the next couple of years. And I know a lot of you guys are still playing Xenoverse too. We're down to play the games we play right now as long as they can master the next one, you know, especially when we're going into the next generation of consoles. Let that be the thing. So, yeah. Again, I don't know what the next big stream is going to be as far as, like, announcements. I'm just looking at the fact that Jump Festa is usually the big uh, time where they announce anything anime related, but that's not until December. And I mean, keep in mind, technically, we got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in, in January. So that was our game for this year. So they still have time between now and December to announce it. Even if they announce something on December and they drop it in, like, the fall, that's still a game for 2021. I don't know if they're still required to drop a game annually. You know, I know back then when they, when they first started really, like, going ham with the Dragon Ball games, they were forced. Not, not forced, but their contract basically said that, hey, you got to drop a Dragon Ball game or you're going to risk losing your license. And I don't know if that still is the case. So... We can't really keep saying that anymore until there's more confirmation. Not that we even had confirmation in the first place, but I know before, that's kind of like the, the deal that they had going on with Bandai and Dragon Ball games. So, yeah. I guess we're going to see. We're going to find out over the course of the next uh, couple months. But uh, comment section below, what do you personally want to see? This is the part where everyone's going to say, Take AC4! Give me a Budokai 4, which remember, Budokai 4 is this. Really, you're looking for Budokai 5. Give me a Budokai 5. Give me a Burst Limit 2, which, by the way, I would love to see a Burst Limit 2. Uh, let me know down below what you're looking for and why. And actually, how about this? How about this? We're going to change this up. The question I'm going to ask you is, um, of all the Dragon Ball games that you ever played, what is the thing that you dislike the most about them? Let's start there. Because I feel like everybody has that one thing, and we can probably all, like, if this is a Venn diagram... We're all going to be in the middle at one of these points where there's one thing about these games that they had that we didn't enjoy. And maybe that's a mistake that they won't make next time. So, like, let me know what it is about games in the Dragon Ball realm that you did not like. For me, <laughs> I got to tell you right now, it's the netcode. It's 100% the netcode. I don't care what kind of Dragon Ball game you make. It can be fun if the netcode works. But, like, the common denominator out of every Dragon Ball game in the last, like, <laughs> what, 20 years has always been awful netcode. I mean, Xenoverse, terrible netcode. Dragon Ball Legends, terrible netcode. Even Fighters has a pretty bad netcode. I mean, you know, if you get in a, in a connection where someone lives, like, literally down the street from you and you have, like, a one-frame delay, it's fantastic. But you know what's better? No frame delay. Unfortunately, we'll never get to that point unless they do, they actually add rollback netcode into, into Fighters. Uh, but point is, what is that one thing that always bugs you about Dragon Ball games? Let me know down below. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a quick video. I'm going to right, go ahead and end it right here. I do want to mention that we are getting really, really close to a million subscribers. I, as of me recording right now, I'm like 500 away. <laughs> I think we're going to hit it tomorrow. And I already have my 1 million special done. I think it's something that a lot of people want to enjoy. I spent uh, the last like two weeks working on it. And I think it was like the perfect representation of the road to right here. And I feel like it's a fun video. I'm debating about premiering it, but honestly, I might just release it so you guys can watch it in your own time. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and again, right now, I'm just saying early thank you to everybody that's been watching the channel and supporting for the last couple of years. It's amazing. I can't wait to keep doing more. It's I, I love this. Every single day I wake up, walk into my room, and um, 
work on the next video. Right now, I'm about to work on the next video for, for Saturday and Sunday. So, like, that's basically, like, my everyday thing. And I, and I, I have no plans to slow down anytime soon. So, thank you so much. Comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on, um, uh, like I said, everything we talk about for the next drama game. And, again, stay tuned. We should be at a million tomorrow. The video is coming. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.